Thank you, uh, Mr Speaker. And I have to start by saying it's incredibly disappointing that the Home Secretary couldn't be here to respond yeah, yeah, to this yeah, urgent yeah, question yeah, yeah. on what is quite an urgent matter. But the police will tell us that if we have nothing to hide, then we have nothing to fear. But everybody should fear the degrading and traumatising treatment that child Q, Q suffered when she was strip searched by the Metropolitan Police. Over four children a day are subject to this treatment by the Met, and black people are strip searched at six times the rate to that of white people. So I ask the Minister, how does he expect to build trust and confidence in a force that is rife with institutional racism and misogyny when it victimises black children on a daily basis? And if his government's own Commission on Race and Ethnic Disparities does not admit to the very existence of institutional and structural racism, how on earth are we supposed to put any trust in them? Well, Mr Speaker, I would refute the Honourable Lady's claim that the Metropolitan Police victimise uh, uh, young black people on a daily basis. Um, I spend, uh, I've spent many hours with the Metropolitan Police over the years uh, watching men and women of all types and races in uniform doing their best uh, to save young people's lives. And while I often, I have to say, get challenged about disproportionality of things like stop and search, um, I never in this chamber, now two and a bit years of doing this job, been challenged on the disproportionality of victimhood um, and the number of young black people who die uh, on the streets of London, sadly, in far too great numbers. Um, as I said earlier, uh, we need to understand from each of these incidents whether we have a systemic problem or a specific problem. And we will know, I understand the House's impatience, we will know once the IOPC conclude. Okay. 